Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's me again. And I, I, it's still Monday, April 27th, and it's 9.57 right now. I wanted to share with you a dream and also just some thoughts that ran through my head as I read this, the interpretation part. Okay, this is from Dawn's email, but it's, a, it's from Victoria Ang. And I have shared a dream or two, maybe a word, from her before. This is called, now listen to this. This is so amazing to me that God works in this way. We will be paid back everything the enemy has stolen. Okay. April 25th, 2020. She got this. It says, Bobby Victoria Ang, A-N-G. Prophetic dream. In the dream, I found myself at a counter to get my money back that I was made known was stolen from me. The amount of the money was $5,789.23. When the money was stolen, I had gotten shot in the lower side of my back. The bullet did not go in deep but was still embedded in my skin, and I knew it had to be removed. In the next scene, I found myself in an ER room where a doctor, and she put in parentheses, God, removed the bullet. As he removed the bullet, it fell and hit the floor, and when I looked at the bullet, it had a pus type fluid on it that was stuck to the bullet. The minute the bullet was removed, I felt completely better and turned around to start helping another nurse that was taking care of a sick patient. And the dream ended. Okay, the way she says to start helping another nurse Either it could mean she this person's a nurse. Could be, but either way, she started helping a nurse that was taking care of a sick patient. The dream ended. So, this is her interpretation. The enemy is continuously working hard to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's the truth using every tactic he can. Boy, does he ever. His plan is to try and steal the anointing and blessings God has given some of his faithful children. Well, I would say God gives all of his faithful children blessings and anointings. It's the unfaithful children that don't get them so much, right? And cause distractions from prayers being prayed. Now, how many have had trouble praying lately? This is a spiritual battle we are in. And there will be injuries on the battlefield. We must continually seek God. To heal those injuries because if we don't, an infection can set in and cause death to a person. Yeah, it can, it can cause a spiritual death leading to hell. If people don't continue to seek God to get your injuries healed and you end up turning from Him. The amount of money stands for the number 57 means mourner. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, seriously. 
I, I said that like mourner 57 and this person gets this dream with this number the number 89 means I shall increase the number 23 my father has gathered meaning as we cry out in prayer and mourn for the lives of others God will bless and increase our lives so that he can gather those souls that were once lost through prayers. All right, and we will be paid back everything the enemy has stolen as we stay in belief and keep trusting God's ways. How many of you have had things stolen in one way or another. Don't let him steal your faith. Do not let him steal your blessed hope to think, well, the rapture is just not going to happen because he keeps saying, he's coming now. I'm at the door. Oh, I'm in the door. I'm waiting for you. And then we're still here. Remember what I said in my last video, in case you didn't see it, please go watch it. His timing is not the same as ours. Okay. So, um, anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I found it quite phenomenal. And it surely can't just be for me. Um... I didn't even need the rest. Hmm, this is interesting. I'll go ahead and share it. Uh, dated April 27th. My all-consuming fire is being stoked. Many among you are smiths who are highly skilled in heated and intense situations. Some have said you shine best when pressure builds and my heat is turned up. I see you as an artisan standing over a burning hot cauldron. You are accustomed to fire and becoming malleable. That means you can change according to the situation and go with it. You've been shaped into a precision instrument for my glory. You were malle malleable. He was able to form you into the <clears throat> precision instrument that he needed for his glory. I hope that makes sense. Help prepare others' hearts for my fresh Pentecost expression occurring Sunday, May 31st. Now, that must be the real Pentecost. <coughs> May 31st. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, the verse they use is Acts 2, 1 through 3. And this is from the Voice Bible, which I've never heard of. When the holy day of Pentecost came... Fifty days after Passover, they were gathered together in one place. Picture yourself among the disciples. A sound roars from the sky without warning. The roar of a violent wind and the whole house where you are gathered reverberates with the sound 
Then a flame appears, dividing into smaller flames and spreading from one person to the next. Boy, that's putting it in modern language, isn't it? That was uh, Kevin Robinson. <coughs> so I'll... Uh, This one's good, too. I'll go ahead and read it. I am fighting for you, pushing back the darkness. You will not be defeated. I have spoken to many prayer warriors to rise up and put on their spiritual armor. The battle is in the heavenlies. Do not slip down into the earthly realm. Fear and anxiety are lurking and seeking an avenue of entrance. Do not give way to them. Or don't give way to fear and anxiety. Okay? Lift your gaze toward heaven, for I am your creator. Let me fight this battle. So don't have any fear, anxiety, brothers and sisters. You put on your armor. You plead the blood of Jesus over it, over yourself. You do what Ephesians 6 says to do. For our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against the powers and the principalities. In the high places and in the heavenlies. Which won't be there for long. They'll be thrown down. They will be thrown down. And the devil knows he has but a short time. The verse given to this is Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 from the New Living Translation. For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you against your enemies. And he will give you the victory. And this was given to Robin Robinson Bolin. So I hope that these messages blessed you today. So now I will plead the blood of Jesus over this message. These messages, this video, over myself my computer, and my internet connection. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, and your devices, and all of your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Which hopefully is any day now. We just keep hoping and keep hoping for our blessed hope. Okay? With that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.